Hey guys, what's up? So, welcome to a new video. Last week we built this rover right here. And this week we're going to be taking all these electronics bits and installing them in there to make it kind of a remote control car. Um, now long term it won't be remote controlled, it's going to be autonomous. But in order to get a feel for it, we're going to first um, make it remote control and do some testing with it. All right, so I'm going to very quickly run through all the electronics we'll be using on this project um, for getting this thing to drive. So <laughs> I'm going to use a uh, actually a drill battery. Picked this one up at like Harbor Freight for like $19, so it's definitely not the best quality, but I think it should work for what we're doing. Um, it is 18 volts, so um, it should be more than enough volts to do what we're doing. And then I have this. Um, adapter which will have the battery plug in here and then there's a voltage sensor on here so I can sense what voltage the battery is at and uh, this right here turns the battery down to 15 volts and then I've got this other power distribution board right here which will distribute the 15 volts to all the motors and then this voltage regulator right here will turn down to 5 volts for the rest of this. So this will power the uh, Arduinos on board and any servos or anything else we want to hook up in the future. So if I attach this to the battery, see that it lights up right there and all these are now live. And then we'll be using two of these DC motor controllers right, now, right here. These can um, turn on and off, reverse, and do variable speed on the motors. These motors are not great at doing variable speed, but um, I don't think we'll need that on this project. We'll see. And then I've got um, two cooling fans just to keep everything cool and keep air flowing with inside the body. A RC receiver for my um, RC transmitter. That's how we'll control it temporarily until we get it working autonomously. And then this is an Arduino Nano hooked up to a couple cables. And this is where we will be um, processing the signals that come out of this receiver and telling the motors what to do. And then a couple various parts to mount things, some wires, all that stuff. And that's all there is to it. So let's start installing this stuff. Alright guys, so now that we have most of the electronics installed, the only thing left is to put the fans on, um, the radio receiver, and then um, mount the power distribution board. Before we can do any of that, we need to design a new side panel for these fans to sit in and a platform for the power distribution board to sit on. So let's jump to CAD and then design them and 3D print them.
All right, so all the code is running on the Arduino. The RC transmitters booted up. Uh, everything looks good. I'll put the serial monitor readout on the side of the screen so you guys can all see it. Um, so we're gonna do a test here, make sure everything works. So I'm using this joystick right here. So I move it forward. It drives forward, all right. Reverse. Right turn. Left turn. Yes, it works. All right, so all that's left is take it outside and let it drive around. Alright guys, as you can see in the video, it works pretty well. Um, I just think it's slightly underpowered. The motors are having issues. They're drawing too much current from the battery. And I think it's overloading a little bit and the voltage is dropping. So, potentially we'll switch over to light posts in the future because they can deliver a lot more current a lot faster. Um, but we'll see, I'll leave that to the next video and we'll take down some data with a voltage sensor and kind of figure out what the best plan of attack is there. Um, so I hope you like this video. Next video is going to be um, putting in some electronics, hopefully uh, putting some sensors on so that it can start to drive itself and also figuring out the battery thing. So till then, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.